if this is not a cathedral after all, it is a royal abbey. And um, and so if you're if you're arriving at London from the west, the first thing you'll see is this evidence of a royally founded abbey, um, still called a royal peculiar. Yes, maybe you could just identify what that is for those people who are well, not sure. Westminster Abbey as a royal peculiar means that it's really exempt from the laws, regulations, assumptions of, of other churches. It's really under royal um, um, under the royal aegis, although that wasn't always understood to be the case in the Middle Ages because monks, uh, the abbot, their community, of course, they had their own way of, of, of seeing things. And there was an immense power struggle between church and state in the Middle Ages. Mm -hmm. Westminster Abbey became really a great focus for that power struggle. And, and as a coronation centre, I think that's the kind of thing that would be really fun to unpack.